When governor's confirmation vote wasn't close, all Democrats and a majority of Republicans supported her nomination. And Raimondo is already in the nation's capital. Bob LaFleur took this photo of Raimondo at TF Green this morning. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi continues our in-depth coverage with the latest on what's happening in Washington. Well, we don't yet know exactly when Gita Raimondo will be sworn in as Commerce Secretary, but we do know she'll have her first full day on the job tomorrow. Mr. Graham, aye. A bipartisan landslide in the U.S. Senate on Tuesday for Governor Gina Raimondo, confirmed as the nation's next Commerce Secretary by a vote of 84 to 15. 30 Republicans joining Democrats to put her into President Biden's cabinet. I know she's the right choice. I urge my colleagues to support her nomination. As Commerce Secretary, Raimondo will oversee a budget of nearly $9 billion and workforce of roughly 46,000 federal employees with an office just steps away from the White House. The lone senator to speak out against her confirmation on Tuesday, Texas Republican Ted Cruz, a thorn in her side throughout the confirmation process. I asked her if she would keep those Chinese technologies companies on the entities list. She refused to make that commitment. Uh, terribly impressed with Governor Raimondo. Rhode Island U.S. Senator Jack Reed tells 12 News he had no trouble rounding up votes for Raimondo despite Cruz's opposition. I think particularly her service as a governor in the midst of a pandemic and the tough decisions she made all reflected in this vote. And as I mentioned, Raimondo resigned as Rhode Island governor just earlier in this hour. She sent a letter to Dan McKee. She also posted on Twitter thanking Rhode Islanders for the trust they put in her over the last six years. Ted Nisi, 12 News.